right, so today we're going to talk about abdominal bracing, which is uh, one of our favorite ways to teach someone how to engage your core muscles, especially when you're lifting something really heavy. Um, we always clarify with people that it's never bad to move your back in different positions. We're meant to bend in all different directions. Sometimes if you have an injury, you might want to, for a very short amount of time, limit how far you're going in one direction. But in general, we're talking about when you're lifting heavy, you don't have an injury, um, how to keep everything nice and stable. So that's abdominal bracing. It's what we found you can engage as many muscles as possible throughout this area. Rather than just trying to target one muscle, we're trying to target as many of them as possible. So to do that, I like people to take their hands. So you're going to find your iliac crests, the top of your hips, um, and you're going to go just above that. You're going to push in either with that part of your hand, or you can push in with your thumbs or your fingers. Um, you're going to push in pretty far, and then you're going to try then to push out into your hands from your sides of your stomach. Um, and sometimes it's helpful to do that if you say, psst. Um, the key is once you psst, find that contraction, you want to then hold it without holding your breath. Okay, we want the muscles to be doing the work. We don't want to just create um, intra-abdominal pressure there. Um, so, practicing it just standing, you can practice it sitting. Um, but, like I said, what we really want is when you're lifting something heavy. So if I'm doing, say, a deadlift, I'm going to come down, I'm going to get into my position, and then before I even accept the weight and take the weight up, okay, I'm going to find my good position, and then I'm going to engage my abdominals, um, and all my core muscles, and then I'm going to explode up while keeping that tight. Okay? So that's just one of the methods that we'll use to teach people to engage their core. Um, hopefully that works for you.